Now let's go back to a converging lens or mirror. And now um, let's say, so here we had If the object's at infinity, the image is at the focal point, is what we saw. If the object's at infinity, the image is at the focal point. Well, let's think about the reverse case. Suppose the object is at the focal point. Where would the image be? Um, and it turns out that everything reverses. Everything reverses here. Um, so now, if everything reverses, where would the image be? What's the reverse of this? If the object was at infinity, the image would be at the focal point. So if the object is at the focal point, symmetry should say the image should be at infinity. You see how this is the reverse of the situation we had over here. Instead of O being infinite and I being the focal point, we have O being the focal point and I being infinite. Okay. Um, you can prove this pretty easily using uh, the lens mirror equation. So easily that I got it. So if the object is at the focal point, um, this would give us the equation. We could plug in f for o, and then we would get 0 equals 1 over i, because these terms would cancel. Well, the only way this can be 0 is if i is infinite. The only way you can get a 0 from a division is when you have an infinite here. So this proves that this is correct. OK, but it's easier to see it from the symmetry from this case. By the way, wh what position would we be here in our chart? We're putting the object at the focal point. So we're right at this point over here. Uh, and this means that the image is at infinity. Mm -hmm. So I'll write in here now the image is at infinity. What that really means is there is no image. There really is no image at this point. Um, infinite magnification isn't really possible. Infinite image distance isn't really possible. There really isn't any image. Um, OK. Uh, so those would be the situations here. Uh, you can kind of see that because this is in the borderline between real and virtual. So this can't be either real or virtual because it's on the borderline. Uh, well, if it's neither real nor virtual, it just means it's not really an image at all. So I think we have that uh, in the handout here. Yeah, if you put the object at the focal point, i is infinite and m is infinite, that really just means no image. Now, what are the incoming and the outgoing light rays going to look like here? Well, the incoming rays here are going to be obviously going through the focal point, because the object is at the focal point. They're all going to be through the focal point. Now, what does symmetry say the outgoing light rays should look like? Object over here at the focal point. Clearly, all the rays are coming from the focal point. Now, what does symmetry say the outgoing light rays should look like? Well, we're trying to be symmetrical with this. In this case, the incoming rays were parallel to the axis, and the outgoing rays went through the focal point. So, if the incoming rays are going through the focal point, what should the outgoing rays look like? which would look like this. You can see how this is just the exact reverse of the picture we had on the board a second ago. A second ago, all the rays were coming in horizontally and were going out to this point. And now all the rays are coming in from this point and going out parallel. So those are both very common uh, situations that can pop up on exams. see why now. Remember the image is supposed to be where the outgoing light rays or their tracebacks converge. The image is supposed to be where the outgoing rays or their tracebacks converge. 
But are these rays going to converge? Never. And their tracebacks won't converge either. This is the one case where neither the rays nor their tracebacks will converge because they're all parallel to each other. They're all parallel to each other. Parallel means they never converge. Well, that means if they never converge, you'd have to go to infinity, so to speak, before you could get the image. Or another way of putting that is there is no image over here. Okay, so this is another special case that uh, is not too unlikely to come up. In fact, let's finish off with our special cases over here. So when you put the object over here, you get really no image. How about if you put the object over here, right at twice the focal point? If you put the object right at twice the focal point, well, notice that this is on the borderline between shrunk and magnified. This is right on the borderline between shrunk and magnified, which means it shouldn't be shrunk or magnified. Well, is it possible? It could just be the same size, which would mean, so this would be the same size, n equals 1. Uh, and it would still be real and inverted, because it's still in the real and inverted region. So this would be same size, real, and inverted. I'm not going to leave this on because it makes the chart here too complicated, but it's in your handout, um, this case over here. The key thing is, if you want an image that's the same size as the object, put it at exactly twice the focal point. If you want the image to be exactly the same size as the object, put it at twice the focal point. Also, we should be able to figure out what would happen if you put the object right smack dab on top of the lens or mirror. What would happen if you put the object right smack dab on top of the lens or mirror, if that were possible? Now, right smack tab on top of the lens or mirror is also on the border between magnified and shrunk, which means it would be the same size. Yeah, again, it has to be the same size because it can't be either magnified or shrunk if it's right on the border. Now, in reality, you can't put something right on top of the lens because the lens is there. But what this means is if the object is very close to the lens or mirror, then the image size is very close to the object size. The closer we get to the putting the object here, the, the closer the image size is to the object size. And I think that's in the handout, too. Okay, so those special cases can be important to know. I'll erase that to make the chart on the board. Essentially. And of course, we would still be in the virtual and upright region over here, so there's no contradiction uh, to that. Uh, so just to point out again, you want to see the symmetry between these two cases. If the rays uh, at the object at infinity, the rays come in parallel to the axis and go out through the focal point. If the object's at the focal point, then the rays come in through the focal point and go out parallel to the axis. These two sides are symmetrical to each other. And here, m would be infinite, whereas here, f is zero. <laughs> <laughs>